Yo, what's good everybody, bro? I know it's been a minute since I made a video. I've been going through some, some changes, bro. But look, it's going to be all worth it because I'm coming back with a banger, bro. You see the giant A on the box, bro. So you be rocking with some new ASICs. Now, this isn't going to be one of my personal ones. This is going to be one for the ladies, bro. So I had a client. She want these. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I have four... We do four steps with the unboxing now. So we go based off the design slash colorway. We go based off of the quality. We go based off of the execution. And we go based off of the comfort. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what she's gonna pay me. And uh, I'm not gonna meet up with her until she pays me. So you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it just so I can get this video out for y'all that these are comfortable. Now these are a new model. These are gonna be the gel ICs and you'll see that these are different from all the other ASICs bro. And they started to um, take more types of gel ICs. I haven't done my uh, research on all of them yet. So I don't really know what everything that's going on with them, but I do know about this pair. So let's go ahead and get right into it, bro. So like I said, these are the gel NYC's. So these are gonna be a different model shape from you know, ASICs. Uh, what are they, bro? I, haven't, I feel like I haven't done a shoot. The 2130s, bro. I know I'm gonna get these numbers right. The 1130s. Oh, I have some ASIC, bro. I, mean, I don't know. But all my credibility just went down <laughs> for the rest of the video. But now uh, these are, <laughs> trust me, I know, bro. It's just I haven't been tapped in with shoes at the moment. And honestly, that's gonna bring me into another video. But like I said, we focus on this, bro. The color code is 120383-104. The colorway is cream slash mineral beige. I ain't gonna lie, bro. These are fire. It's a men's nine. And without further ado, bro, let's look at the shoe, bro. Let's look at the shoe, bro. Oh my God, these are fire. If you have a girl that you love, if you love your mama, if you love your sister, if you got a girl that you're trying to take on a date, bring these to her. These are gonna do way more for you than some flowers. Just kidding. Stay with the flowers, bro. Don't buy a girl no shoes, because once you buy her a pair of shoes, it's gonna allow her to walk away out of your life. That's what my manager at Champs told me. And to this day, even being a shoe plug, I have never, ever, 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 ever in my life bought a girl a pair of shoes, bro. And I think I'm gonna I'm keep it that way. Except my mom and them. But yeah, these are the gel ICs, bro. And honestly, I, I love them. They give me off rip the, the first vibe that I get from them, bro. It's a mix of like ASICs with that 90, 60, the New Balance, that sole. And honestly, I feel like these are more... So you know when like Balenciaga took ASICs flow, I feel like if you traded this ASICs logo with like a Balenci logo or something, these are the same exact, this would be like the same kind of vibe, right? Because you have that thicker bottom sole and just like kind of like that sleek lower build to it, but it's still like sturdy in a sense, right? And that's what all of those like designer shoes that kind of took, basically took ASICs and New Balance's whole flow, bro. So I, and again, I, look, I would rather pay, how much did I pay for these? I think 130 after tax, right? Or before tax. I think it was it's like 30. Before or after, something like that. But yeah, I'd rather pay 130 compared to like four, five, six hundred. And that's probably like on the low end of Balenciaga. You know what I'm saying? I don't stuff foot in there. I know that's just it's not I'm gonna say it's not my budget, but it's just why why go there when we have beautiful shoes or they're copying this? Why would I go to the copycat version when I could just go to the original and they you know what I'm saying? They putting out fire bangers, bro. I would rather see a girl in some pink Asics than some pink Balenciagas, bro. If you know, no doubt. But these are amazing, bro. And honestly, they're still sticking um, to the Asics like guideline in a sense, right? They still have the mesh. So they have the mesh toe box and you can see the mesh scattered all around, all under the Asics logo too. And I honestly, I always love all the Asics shoes that I've done or just seen in general. I love how the Asics logo just kind of flows with the entire shoe. I think they have the best when it comes to that type of branding. I think it just flows so good with the whole, like, it flows with the whole build of the shoe. And then even with like this colorway, I like this, like, it says on the box cream, and I don't know, it's for sure this midsole area right here, but these laces right here, it's not a for sure gray. It's like a, it's like darker, I don't even know. It's like carpet, right? But like, it's clean carpet, but you, know, you can tell carpet that's been stepped on a little bit. It gives that vibe. It's like gray, but a little bit of like sand, right? Sandy, grayish brown. But I like it, bro, because I, look, and I've said this on multiple videos. Anytime you can mix 
the pink with like any type of like brown, cream, any type of that color combo and you execute it right, right, bro, you have a banger on your hand. And I think that's exactly what they did with this shoe right here, bro. It, it's amazing. Everything complements one of one each other. Even with this, right? This right here on the bottom of the outsole, you have like this kind of grayish so right here, and that mi that mixes with like this metallic material right here, going through the A6, the overlays through the A6 uh, logo. So man, bro, they did fire. So if we gonna go back to our four steps, and like I said, it's it's the design slash colorway. So how the shoe is designed and how the colorway looks. So that's the first one. Honestly, bro, I don't see these. This is the type of shoe where you see on Twitter, bro. You be scrolling on Twitter, you be scrolling on Instagram, and then it's like this. Let's account and they post like these fake shoes or these like, custom shoes that everybody wants but uh, Nike and Jordan just never want to release them. This is that type of shoe, right? This is the type of shoe you see on the internet and that you 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 never see in the in the in real life, right? You see it and you're like, oh my god, that's the best shoe ever. Why won't these brands just make that? And you'll never see it in real life because it's not real. And here it is, bro. I love it. Honestly, I think the colorway is 10 out of 10. It, it has so many different materials on it. Even with the, the pink right here, is that is that suede, bro. But it's a, it's a pretty suede, bro. It's, it's not doing too much. It doesn't make it... I like the suede on this because even like this rough patch, you can see how this is like rougher than compared on the sides, right? I think this alone, now that I'm looking at it, it's not as consistent compared to... You can see the like difference between the just from the left and right, and that will probably make some points off when it comes to the quality side but i was gonna say that this profit edge i feel like this makes it and before i even say this you can wear whatever you want i have a bunch of pink shoes but i think it it makes it easier for a guy to wear this or you know what I'm saying it just it just flows better if, if uh, with this rugged rugged sway for a guy to wear but i think bro you show this to any girl she's gonna fall in love especially right now bro we're in a workout era bro all everybody loves to work out right now i, I mean, there's definitely been a shift in the world <laughs> if you a lot of people are in their workout era and a6 bro a6 is is one of a6 and new balance for sure i've seen a lot of 530s and i've seen a lot of a6 uh, those been on the up and come up so if you see a girl in the gym with these bro she's a keeper you gotta shoot your shot because this isn't just no regular AC, bro. Because all the ACs that I've been seeing has just been the regular gray or the silver or the white ones, right? So, design and colorway, bro. I love it. 10 out of 10. I think everything flows. I like the laces. They don't come with any extra laces, by the way. But I don't think you need any. I think putting a pink lace on it would be doing too much. But even the laces matches with the mesh material on here. All the overlays... Bro, they just complement each other so well. It's not doing too much while doing a lot at the same time. And then I love Asics branding, bro. You have the gel right here on the back inside of like this pink overlay, bro. Like they just do it. They execute it very well on this shoe. I like it. They they did really good, right? Asics right here on the pink logo. It's amazing. So design and colorway, we're going to go uh, 10 out of 10. Now next, we're going to do execution, right? The name of this shoe is, I've seen a couple, uh, but we're just gonna go with peaches and cream because that's what I've been seeing. I've seen a lot of like cream and peaches and, and things like that. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna be exactly like peaches and cream because when I think peaches and cream, I kind of think of like more like orangey, but obviously the cream that they're talking about is gonna be the pink in here. But honestly, I, I still think they did a good job. Uh, I think it, it really flows. I think it's more so of that. Uh, like I said, it's been Asics, ASICs don't really have, because ASICs are really similar to how Dunks were, right? When the Dunks first came out, there wasn't solidified names and release dates for these Dunks. They were just dropping them, right? Now, obviously, we had, obviously, like Pandas, the Cobalts, these, stuff like that. But then, we started making more colorways. <laughs> they just started dropping them, and they really left it up to us to, to name it, right? So, these have been giving different names, but honestly, I, I understand where it was coming from, right? And I think they, they executed that very well. I like, even like Pink Jewel uh, Soul right here, I think that's fire, bro. Uh, and then going, like, having it sandwiched with the cream colorway, I think that's so fire, bro. I, like, I'm this shoe, like, just a first glance, maybe to like, I was thinking it's like, oh, it's, it's a pink shoe, it's cool. But it's really doing a lot, and I think they executed it uh, very well. Is, is still being able to, and also this is a new model as well, right? So you would think like, it's kind of hard to try and incorporate a new model with a really good colorway and also still stick it to the ASICs core when it comes to comfort, 
right? Because that's what ASICs is known for. They're just now popular and, and they noticed it and they're making pretty good colorways because trust me, these are not the same ASICs people was getting four years ago, but I digress, bro. So execution, bro, I think they did really good. Uh, execution also plays into a release. The release was smooth, right? I got a notification from a link. Uh, I got it on the website, bro. And ASICs, they let you buy three apiece, bro. So if you really wanted these, I think it's, it's, it's usually easy, bro, to get ASICs, bro. So execution, I will also give this a 10 out of 10, bro. The release wasn't hard whatsoever. And like I said, I feel like ASICs, and I don't know if they're going to get into that or they're just going to stay doing that with the collabs and things like that. But these just dropped. These are just a random drop. They dropped, got notifications. If you knew, you knew, you got on it. And I, I bought these fairly easy. I, I wasn't preparing for them. I didn't even know they were going to drop. And truth be told, I told my homegirl, a client, that that she wanted these. I didn't know if she was serious or not, right? So between between me and you feel me, I didn't know she was gonna buy them, so I never bought them. And um, she does my hair, so she braided my hair, and she was like, yeah, where's, where's my shoes? And I was like, oh, you want them for real? And so I ended up buying them, and now we're at that point where I don't know when she's gonna buy them, but I digress. She's gonna buy them eventually, it just, I need, it's my money and I, <laughs> I need it now. But yeah, like I said, bro, the, re the release was good, and then ASICs, they restock a lot, bro. So if you're tapped in with the community, bro, you can easily score some ASICs. And I, I think ASICs is, is, is so refreshing for the sneaker community right now because they're fairly cheap. Well, not even fairly. They're cheap. They're way cheaper than everything else, right? Usually coming at like 21, 30, even new balances are like 160, 180. Jordan's obviously 200 plus. Nike, depending on it, is 200 plus. So it's really refreshing. And then it's also fairly easy, but it's not easy to the point where it's oversaturated lunks, right? Lunks you don't even want to see anymore. These, you can still see somebody with some ASICs and still appreciate, oh wow, those are fire. Cause you're not just seeing them everywhere. And not every store really just sells ASICs because nobody had an ASICs contract before. So now everybody's trying to get an ASIC contract, right? Um, so execution, 10 out of 10. Quality, I'm gonna go with, I don't wanna nitpick, bro. I don't wanna nitpick. I'll say a nine. So like I said, consistency was between the things. So the suede, I feel like between just the left and the right pair, they're not consistent. And even if you go from uh, left to right, not even just on the top, you can kind of see the inconsistencies. So I can only imagine what it is between other pairs if this is just the left and the right. Now there are other things too. You can see this poking out. Again, this is like real petty stuff, but we're still paying 100 plus for these shoes, right? And I know some people are just so cheap, but you can cut this off. It's not going to bother me. And then there was also another strand somewhere on here while I was checking it out. But really just like minute details, bro. If you're like a sneakerhead, I'll see another one right here. But if you're not a sneakerhead, bro, and even if you are a sneakerhead, and then like, see like this right here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's kind of like, not ripped, but you can see it's kind of torn. So it's, it's, it's very small stuff that naked eye isn't even going to pick up and you just have to be looking for it, right? So I give it a nine. I'm not complaining whatsoever. Uh, I, like if this is my personal pair, I would not have an issue. I wouldn't want to return it, things like that. So I, I think it's cool. So 10, 10, 9, and then comfort, bro. Like I said, um, you guys are gonna have to take my word on it. Um, the ASIC is still filled with the mesh whatsoever, uh, all over. So even if I take, uh, bro, I haven't talked about shoes in so long, bro. I don't even know. I'm just tissue paper, bro. Is that what we just call it, tissue paper? Oh, look, bro. You can go to all my other videos, bro. You can you can check out the Instagram notable plug, bro. My resume is good. Trust me, bro. It's just been, it's just been a minute. I was trying to get myself an NBA comparison. I don't know why I was gonna say Paul Pierce, but that was just terrible because I'm not. Like Anyways, bro. Hey, nah, I'm like Wimby, bro. I'm like Wimby, right? Hey, so peep game. Wimby, he was like, oh, everybody's like, oh, he's 7'3", seven, seven, he's gonna be the god, da, da, da. Then he come and get his first game. He's like, I'm out there. I don't even know what I'm doing for real. And then what the next game he do? Drop that double, double. I'm like Wimby right now, bro. So give me a minute. I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's my first game back. But uh, even you can see how plush this is on the ASICs, bro. I love that, bro. And then on the inside, bro, your feet are going to feel so phenomenal. I, I will say, though, uh, it's not as much like mesh as it is compared to the other ASICs. So I would probably have to do this at a at a nine as well. I can also see like the sole being a little bit think thicker. That can also provide a little bit of uh, the... And when I mean like slightest drop of comfort, but well, literally it's still peak comfort. Like, I would wear these shoes over a good 80, 90% of my collection, boy. Oh my God. 
uh, your own boy, but uh, also really almost tens across the board is tens and nines. This is an absolutely amazing shoe. Um, if you are interested in these, or check out, you have to go to the beginning of the video to reread the style code. You can type that in into the search engine and you can see what, what sites have them available. And make sure to check out some retail sites before you go buy them on the second market because you might have a, a chance to get these, bro. Because like I said, Asics restock heavily, bro. So I really love these. And let me know what y'all think about these, bro. I, I really do. I'm, I'm curious. And it feels good to be back, bro. So if you made it back, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, bro, I appreciate you. And if you care, I'm gonna yap a little bit, right? Bro, there might be a change of scenery. So be patient with me. I, look, I know I only got 700 subscribers, but look, that's 700, I work from the ground up. So if you subscribe and you watching this, if you not subscribe, subscribe and you watching this, Bro, I appreciate all and trust me, whenever whenever I do that change of scenery, you guys are going to know because I have a lot of stuff planned for it. Uh, I have so much content that I have planned for it and it's going to be fire. It's going to be way more consistent. I'm going to have a way better setup too. That's what I'm going to like invest in when I, whenever I have this change of scenery. And keep on saying change of scenery, bro, I don't want to swell too much. And I really don't have, I'm saying like that locked in supportive base right now so shit, folks probably don't even care y'all probably done clicked up by now but y'all gonna see it's gonna be super consistent we gonna get to a thousand subscribers y'all gonna love it and it's gonna be it's gonna be so much bro it's gonna be like so like bro i i have it planned bro so trust me the weight is worth it i do apologize for the inconsistency i'm gonna try and pump out a couple more videos before i have to go back into that mode of preparing for the change of scenery but with that being said, man, let me know how y'all feel about the shoes and give me some motivation in the comments, man. It's, it's going to be good. And this all for y'all. This for us. So um, with that being said, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.